Hello, 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 and thank you guys so very much for tuning in today. It is your girl, Miss Lee, full-time real estate entrepreneur and investor based out of the Atlanta, Georgia area, and this is the Keys to Success show where we interview local business professionals and entrepreneurs to discuss some of their keys to success in their business and in their life. Today, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome Mr. Michael Mack, full-time real estate entrepreneur and co-founder of the Wholesale Starter, Starter Care, Tongue Tack. Uh, please, Michael, please take a moment and introduce yourself to our viewer. Well, first and foremost, uh, thank oh, you. For I hear you. No sound. How about now? Can't hear you. Uh, nothing. Oh, sorry, hold on one second. Can you hear me? Hello? I can hear you now. Well, okay. Sorry about that. All right, no problem. Well, uh, again, first and foremost, uh, thank you for having me on your show. It's a pleasure. Um, my name is. Michael Mack, I'm located here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area. Uh, I've been wholesaling and investing in real estate and fixing and flipping properties for about four years. And uh, I'm primarily focused in the Charlotte market, but I'm also in areas in North Carolina, such as Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, and currently we are expanding to markets in Florida as well. Wow, right and stuff. So before we dive into real estate, tell me, how did you get started into uh, flipping houses, and, and what, like, what? Tell us a little bit about who Michael Mack is. Okay, sure. So I, um, again, I'm I was born originally in Atlanta, uh, but you know, my father he was in the military, so we ended up landing in Fayetteville, North Carolina, which is a military town. Um, you know, that's where I grew up all my life. I went to college there. Uh, post college, going to Fayetteville State University. Um, a few years later, I ended up coming to Charlotte, maybe around 2010. Uh, during that time, you know, I was I, I never had any thought of, you know, becoming a real estate investor. I had no clue what wholesaling was. Um, I, you know, it's just still at that time just renting property. Just I didn't really have any clue of what I was going to do, or even really thought about buying a home. Right. Um, but then I have an older brother. He always suggested, hey, you need to go ahead and try to buy a home. So what I did eventually in 2004, I bought my first property. And during that time, in just working with my real estate agent, which is a really nice guy by the name of Jarnell Sanders. If you're in Charlotte and you need a real estate agent, reach out to Jarnell Sanders. He's a great agent. But um, just working with him and seeing how the house buying process went, I thought that you know when I finished that and bought my first property, I wanted to you know, I thought about being a real estate agent and going to real estate school and getting my real estate license. Right. And as I was researching that process, I came across the Bigger Pockets podcast. And uh, that's when I realized that, you know, you could buy and sell real estate without having a real estate license. Right. Uh, and then that's when I, I found out about wholesaling. So that, that's just when I began my research journey. And this was maybe around 2014 when I started that journey. Wow. And um, yes, so that's how I got to where I'm at today, just from buying my first house and wanting to be an agent and then realizing, OK, maybe that's not the the lane that I need to take. And it's found out a more creative way to to still buy and sell properties and still make the profit um, without following so many, I guess, regulations and guidelines. Right. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your first property. You, you were in, initially thinking about becoming a real estate agent. You connect with an agent, you go through that process. How did, like, what was the aha moment? Like, oh my God, this is something new. I can, you know, I don't have to get my license now. I can get into this. Tell us a little bit about that experience. Well, well my first property uh, was a primary residence that I bought. It was a short sale. Okay. So, it, and this was in 2014. So then the market was still, especially here in Charlotte, the market was really, really cheap. Right. Also, it was really, really low. So the property that I purchased, I got it for a really, really low price, right. and I ended up selling that property last year and made a nice profit on it. Oh, wow. um, that property I, I sold to, you know, the the I Realtors, the I sold it to Offerpad, mm -hmm. uh, and they gave me a pretty good, you know, offer for that property. Um, and, and again, that was a short sale. I ended up buying it as is, but then post that, after I bought my first primary residence, my first investment property was a a subject to deal that I acquired from a family member that no longer wanted to, that they were possibly looking at just giving the property back, um, right, right. you know, just giving it back to the lender. 
and I ended up taking over those payments and then I ended up fixing up the property and selling that property about two months later after I acquired it and that was my first flip. Wow, that is amazing. So a family member didn't want the house. At that time, did you know about sub two or it was just kind of like you, you the family member didn't want the house and you're like, well, I'll take it. I'm doing real estate now. You know, maybe I can do something with this. Well, well I kind of know a little bit about it because so after I bought my first house and then I started to go on my research journey, uh, I maybe spent about just a year of, again, YouTube University and just listening to hours and hours of podcasts and just watching tons and tons of YouTube footage. So I knew a little bit about doing subject to deals, but not as in depth. So, but, but I, I did know that, hey, you could take over someone's payment. Um, I just didn't know the full ins and outs of it. Right. But I have a, a real estate attorney here in the Charlotte area, mm -hmm. uh, Perry Marsh. Um, he's a really good guy. You can email him. He gives you, you know, he responds quickly. So I would just send him in from asking him a lot of questions about, you know, how the process would work. Right. Um, he kind of guided me through the process. He assisted me with, you know, doing a traditional closing for that subject too. And it, it worked out. And then my intention, because a lot of times when you do subject two, sometimes people do them as buy and holds. But right. my intention going into it was just to flip the property. Right. Um, looking back, I kind of think I should have kept it. Right. <laughs> just because it was, uh, you know, it, it would have been a great cash flow on property. Right. But, you know, that, that still taught me how the subject to process worked and then also how the flipper property also worked as far as being able to kind of see what needs to be repaired and what needs to be rehabbed and what cost and how to manage contractors. I kind of all learned that on my first flip. Wow. That is an amazing story. And, and even... I mean, with the, the family member and with the attorney who walks you through, and that is a major key to anyone who's watching. If you, you know, having those attorneys in your back pocket, having those attorneys who know the laws in your market, and that is so important. And actually, right. my new book, Clear and Close, that's one of the chapters in there, having a clear understanding of the laws in your market. And yeah. your go-to person is always the attorney. So that's absolutely awesome. Great. Yeah, yeah but without him, I definitely would have. Uh... Uh, I would say botch that situation, but it, it would have definitely took a lot longer to kind of figure it out. And, and also for me to be able to clearly articulate it to my family member, the process mm -hmm. of what we were doing. Super important. So I do advise any new investors, of course, you know, if you're getting into it and you don't know, definitely connect with an attorney. Yeah. Yeah. Because subject twos can be tricky and, and it's, it's basically all about trust because that person that you're assuming the mortgage has to trust that you're going to continue to make those payments. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Good stuff. So you said you studied on YouTube University. How important is just studying and learning and understanding the process of the business? Would you say to it, someone who's watching who's new and they want to know, okay, what is this? How do I get into it? You know, what is he exactly talking about? How important is studying content on YouTube? Yes. Anyway. Studying is, I mean, I wouldn't say I, I wouldn't want to put I guess a number on it, but it's it's the key I guess to any success is right. studying and, and, and always being a, a learner, always be willing to learn new things. You never want to be the smartest person in the room. Right. There's always someone that you can learn from, and and always just diving in with knowledge and research, right. just so that because again a lot of it comes to communication. So you want to be able to properly and efficiently communicate you know, the things you're trying to, to get across, especially the sellers. So the right. more you know, the, the better communicator you'll be. And, right. and, you know, and as you know, with real estate, there's so many different lanes, there's so many intricate parts, mm -hmm. so many ways to structure deals and to, to acquire property. I mean, I'm about four years in and I still think I'm just tipping iceberg. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So along with, you know, so now four years in and you're and you said, I know we spoke yesterday and you had mentioned that you were flipping and rehabbing, but now you kind of, you know, you're taking another route with it when it comes to your investing strategies. But along with all of that, along the way, you've learned that there are a lot of different things that you need to have in your business yeah. to make it function. And so with that, you and some of your, you know, your awesome co-founders, you guys came up with an, a brilliant idea. If you would tell our viewers a little bit about the uh, company that you started. Okay, sure. So, uh, so myself, uh, my partners, uh, Eric Andrews and Tia Hart, uh, we created a, 
a, a system and a platform called the Wholesaler Starter Kit. And basically the Wholesaler Starter Kit assists new and experienced investors with scaling their wholesaling or just uh, off market investment business. So I guess, I guess to backtrack a little bit when I was, uh, you know, on my journey of, you know, researching and learning about investing and starting to invest, mm -hmm. I would go to a lot of local meetups right. and I would kind of ask questions, but people would kind of just give me generic answers. Like I would ask, Hey, how could I find a VA? Right. And then people would say, Hey, you know, Google, there's a lot of places you can find one. No one would ever give me a direct source or where I could find a virtual assistant at. Right. Maybe they didn't know, but, you know, it's still yeah. it's together information. Right. right yeah. So um, that was one of the things when I wanted to be able to assist other people with, you know, the learning curve. And, right. Okay. If putting one place where you can go to find all of those things, someone would, again, I would ask, hey, uh, you know, where could you go to get list skip traced? How can I find these phone numbers for these addresses? Again, people would just say, hey, there's a lot of companies you can go to. No one would give me any specifics. Right. So uh, again, I wanted to put all that in one place. So now you can go to the wholesalerstarterkit.com and you can get a virtual assistant. You can get your lead skip traced. You can get a lead manager. You can get your customer relationship management software set up all on one site. Wow. So the, again, so that was my motivation for starting the Wholesaler Starter Kit. Um, we've been, we launched last year, so we're approaching about a year now. Right. And so far it's been going well. Right. Wow, that is amazing. And you, and pretty much you and your team, you figured, hey, if I need, if I have these questions and wonder where these things are, I'm sure someone else is going to have the same questions. So why not do the one to put it all in one place? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely genius. Absolutely genius. And how long ago did you start that business? Uh, we did a soft launch, maybe uh, September 2019. Okay. Um, so it, it was in, but well, the idea probably came about where we really started to put things in motion at the beginning of 2019. We spent a lot of time with developers trying to, you know, get a good user friendly website to kind of make it so when you go there, you can just place the items you want into a shopping cart. And check out. Um, also, if you want to customize a package, so for example, if you only want one part-time virtual assistant, but you may want uh, ten thousand leads, you know, skip traced, you can give us an email. You can email us at info at wholesalerstarterkit.com, and we will customize a package for you. Um, you know, there's we work with everyone. So although you may go to our website and you may see, you know, certain prices, but if there's something that maybe at that time you cannot afford, give us an email. We'd be happy to work with you. Wow. So they're customized packages. And so the packages, because I, and I checked out the website, it's absolutely amazing. Thank you. Are those for a month or for a week? Or what are the terms for each con each package that they purchase? Yes. So, the, so there is no uh, contract that we lock people into. Okay. Um, you can go on a weekly basis, a bi weekly basis, or a monthly basis. Uh, we would suggest that you, you at least give it a full 30 days because you know it, it takes a little time to, to work the leads so if you have x amount of leads that you need a cold caller to call you may have to call those leads you know four or five times before you get some traction and before you actually find a motivated seller so we say at least give it about 30 days within that 30 days i could pretty much give you or i, I am willing to give a money back guarantee that you will get appointments with sellers during the 30 days and within that 30 days, you will get a property under contract. Wow, that is an amazing concept. And, and like I said, I know Pia, she's worked with our company. She's absolutely phenomenal. So the partners yeah. that we have, I've not met yet Eric yet, but I'm sure, I mean, speaking with you and knowing Tia, that he's absolutely phenomenal as well. So anyone who's watching, definitely check out the website and the Wholesaler Charter Kit. I know that you guys work with some amazing talent. It's not, you know, and that's important when you're setting up your business. It's, you just don't want to have anyone working. You really want to have the best people um, right. working in your business. So that's good that you guys have done your due diligence and you have it already set up. So it's like, hey, if you want to get started, let's streamline the process and you can go right to having your business run. Right, absolutely. Wow, that's good stuff. So you have the Wholesaler Starter Kit. 
You're now a full-time investor for four years. What are you currently, like in the Charlotte market, I know with everything that's going on in the world, COVID and everything else, how is your market doing there in Charlotte? And I know you said you're also transitioning into the Florida market. How do you see the real estate market going? Uh, well, here in Charlotte, in the beginning stages, in maybe March, April, uh, I would say even May, you know, it, it slowed. You could definitely see that it was slowing down because at that point, people just didn't know what to do. So sending appointments kind of became a challenge to meet with sellers because, you know, no one wanted to come in contact with anyone within six weeks. So it, it was hard to actually get an in-person, you know, appointment so you could actually come out and evaluate the property. Um, but then, you know, at that point, we just had to be creative. So even now when we do get properties under contract and, and things are picking back up again, we're now when we got the properties, we're getting video. Um, you know, it's basically a video inspection that we're doing ourselves. So when we do send our deals out to buyers, they could pretty much have a video walkthrough and don't actually have to physically be there to see the property to make an offer. Wow. Um, so I would say in the Charlotte area, it's definitely picking back up. Um, again, I, I'm, a, I'm also currently in the Fayetteville, North Carolina area which is a military town. So um, that market is doing well. And yeah, I can see, you know, just it's the upward, uh, it's back in upward motion currently, just as for wholesale, I think, or just real estate investing in general in Charlotte. Awesome. Yeah. And, and you know, the word that I've heard a lot during all of this stuff that's been going on is pivot and, and just really being able to shift with yeah. the market as things are going and not getting you know, frustrated and, and, say, and giving up and saying, oh, well, you know, people are not doing this. I guess I need to, you know, try something else. And of course, it's good to have other avenues of income, yeah. but definitely being able to just adjust with the business and say, okay, you know, we, this is just a little stumbling block. Let's right. Keep going, work through it. Yeah. Right. And I agree because, you know, as the strongest survive. So during this time, I'm sure a lot of people just lost patience or just lost motivation or just didn't really know what to do. But right. then, the, you know, us that persevered through it, you know, now we see the light at the end of the tunnel and we're still able to, to benefit from it. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great stuff. So let's talk a little bit about you, Michael, and like some of your keys to your success in your business and in your life. Like what are some of the things that keep you going that you're like, this is why I'm pushing through? Tell us some of your keys to your success. Um, I think, well, obviously, keeping God first. Um, you know, but believing in something, having faith, um, just believing that, you know, through your actions that there will be success just through your hard work. Right. Um, so, I mean, my main key to success is just working hard, staying consistent, um, you know, treating others as, as you would like, you know, others to treat you, treating others with respect, treating everyone with respect, um, and just being a good leader, uh, you know, and, and having a team and building a team and also being able to be a coach to, to lead your team, you know, through good and bad times. So I, I think those are my main keys is just, you know, hard work, um, determination, uh, all those just lead to you being successful and always, again, being able to have the, the need to want to learn. Like right. never think that you know it all, always seek knowledge. And I think that's been my key to success because I'm always willing to learn more and I'm always trying to surround myself with others who can, you know, help me, you know, gain knowledge that I don't have or, right. or around it, surrounding myself with people who are, are more experienced in those areas and just connecting the dots so that we could all, you know, have success together. I, I'm, I've never been a person to, I guess, to, to be selfish and only want to, to keep all the information and all right. the to myself. I don't mind mentoring people for free or giving away free knowledge because again, I believe in karma. I believe what you put out comes back. So I always just like to keep good energy and, and it's worked for me thus far. Wow. So you know, with all of that, I know we spoke yesterday and you mentioned that you also mentor and train other yeah. local investors who are starting off in, in the industry. Talk, tell us a little bit about how you got started in that and what that looks like. Yeah, um, so I actually, I actually was never actually, I guess, looking to uh, mentor anyone. The, the first mentee that I, that I came across, he's a young guy by the name of Steph, um, you know, very eager to learn, very intelligent, but just through a, a, a friend of the family that I've known my life, pretty much my whole life, um, they work together. And he 
you know, one day my friend contacted me and said, hey, I got a guy, he's interested in, in doing real estate, but he doesn't really know what to do. So, you know, I'm, I'm always an open person. Hey, give me a call. Um, even on, on your platform right now, my phone number is 980-785-4881. Give yeah. me a call anytime. If you have questions, you know, I'm here to talk. Awesome. Um, so yeah, he gave me a call. We, um, you know, he, yeah. Uh, because again, you, you don't want anyone to waste your time. So, right. you know, yeah, time is definitely valuable. So, I, you know, obviously you just can't mentor any and everyone, but if that person that you do speak with, they do seem genuine and they do seem like, you know, their, their goals are aligned with yours. Um, that's kind of what my focus is when I do kind of vet out who I'm going to mentor. Right. You know, um, and, and that's kind of what I, you know, anyone that wants to learn and, and their goals align, I'm here to mentor them. Money is not necessarily a, you know, a focus, so you don't have to pay me. But, you know, maybe we could just joint venture on deals that you get in the future. And those deals that you get, I'm willing to also help find buyers for those deals. So it's not for to only say that, hey, I, I gave you some information and now everything you make, you have to pay me. No, um, it's whatever we agree on. Right. So, so that's kind of what it looks like now. You know, now I have about four or five guys that I mentor. Um, some a little bit more experienced, some new. But but that's kind of what it looks like just when it comes to me finding candidates for me to mentor, and, and what the process looks like. And that's awesome. There's something really important. Goals align. So you, it's like an interview process that you have with them when they call to just you know go over their goals and just to make sure that they're. Yeah, you know, it's in alignment with where you would like to go with your business. Yeah, it's somewhat. It's kind of more so a casual conversation. I want to more so find out who you are as a person. I want to find out if you are, you know, truly. If I believe that you're a good person, and right. that you're, you know, to find out what your also motivation is for wanting to. Well, obviously, you want to make money, but right. aside from that, are you just strictly money driven, or do you have other, you know, morals that you abide by as well? So, so that's right. a big part for me also. That's awesome. And that's so important. I mean, people, you know, it's important. Yeah. A lot of times people will just, you know, be all about the money. And there's so much more to life um, yeah. than just being driven by that. So that's really awesome that you do that. Uh, and is it for just Charlotte or is it anywhere in the United States so someone can call from Florida or California and you would work with them as well? Yeah, you can give me a call anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, yeah, anywhere. Um, give me a call. We can figure it out. I mean, you know, with the way technology is now and even with, the emergence of COVID, you know, everything is now done virtually. So, right. you know, we can do Zoom calls, FaceTime, however, Skype. Right. It <laughs> yeah. needs to be in any market, which is beautiful. I know with you one said. of our VAs, she's in Jamaica and she's talking about real estate and development in Jamaica. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. She's on to something, yeah. Exactly. So it's like, it's such an opportunity with the, mm -hmm. uh, with virtual, with being able to go virtual and do things virtually that you can be in any market and really make things happen. I, I agree. Awesome, awesome stuff. So, I mean, we've discussed your your wholesaling business, the wholesaler starter kit, and just mentoring. What are some of the last pieces of success that you'd like to leave our viewers with when it comes to just being um, your best self? Um, I mean, we we'll know that there are no limits. Don't put limits on yourself. Um, a lot of times we talk ourselves out of doing things or just certain words we say, you know, subconsciously may, you know, just impact our actions. So, you know, just when speaking, speak things into existence. Um, you know, just when you speak, don't say if, say when. You know, don't say can't, say can. Uh, those, those are my main things. Is just, you know, speak life into yourself, speak life into others, and just know that you can. I mean, obviously, it requires some work, but you know, you, you don't, you don't lose until you quit. Right. So, you know, as long as you keep going, you're going to win. Right. That's absolutely, I mean, absolutely amazing advice. That mindset and that process of speaking life into others, was that something that you always, that, is that something that you are, or have always been, or is it something that's developed? Um, I, well, I think it's developed into speaking life into others. Maybe just uh, mm. over the past I, I, I don't. I won't say a time frame, but just get the that, that's developed. But right. just being a confident person and kind of always personally knowing that I can achieve whatever I set my mind to, I kind of always been that way. Wow. Um, but knowing how to speak that into others and how to motivate others that came over time. 
Wow. And is there any specific, like any content that you watch or is it something like you're just a natural born leader? I think, um, oh, really? yeah, 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 both. I think obviously my father's kind of instilled that in me as a child. Right. Um, just right. from him being in the military and him, right. you know, advancing in the military to the status that he was before he retired. So right. I just think that's kind of was, you know, bred into us and just instilled in us as children. Wow, that's so powerful. That is great. So, I mean, big shout out to your dad and big shout out to the military in a whole. I was talking to my executive assistant and I'm like, I want to hire, you know, new people in the company. I'm like, and if they're in the military, that'd be awesome. It's yeah. Like, something about the character of people that have served. Right. Like, how powerful, you know, what they instill in their children, what is instilled in them, their work ethic. So that's absolutely amazing. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to anyone who has served. I mean, we, I stand behind them 110% for sure. Yeah, same here. I mean, their job, you know, it, it sometimes is unappreciative, but for what they do, uh, you know, I, I always salute them. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. All righty. So uh, what's the best way? I know you had, you left your phone number for our viewers. What are, if, you, if you would, I guess your website, we're going to leave a link um, at the end of this uh, video so that people can, you know, click onto the link and go to the Wholesaler Starter Kit and check it out. Um, but is there any, when it comes to, you know, closing deals, because I know now you said you're transitioning into wholesaling more. Um, are there any um, keys to wholesaling that you would leave our viewers with? I mean, like, what's a, one major key that you would say when it comes to wholesaling real estate? Um, well, I'll take action. You know, don't have the uh, the analysis paralysis. Don't just, don't just all, I mean, it's good to do research. Mm -hmm. Obviously, right. but don't just get stuck in, only doing research and not taking action. Right. Start to take action. You know, being a beginner or even being advanced, you're going to make mistakes. You know, no one has all the answers. Every deal is going to go perfect. But you know, take action. You know, shoot your shot. You know, you miss a hundred percent of shots you don't shoot. So, right. shoot your shot. Get out there. Find properties. Uh, network with others. Don't be afraid to again partner with someone who can help you fill in the areas that you're not you know efficient in right. so you know maybe you may find a property you may not know the next steps but find someone experienced who does and on that right. deal with that person and they can help you sell your first deal and along the way they can show you the ins and outs of that deal from beginning to end so then when you go to your second deal at that point maybe you won't need that person you know exactly what to do from beginning to end exactly yeah i would just say take action Take action. It's so important. I want to thank you for thank taking you. time out of your afternoon to be interviewed on the Keys to Success show. And to all of our viewers, definitely connect with Michael and his team. They're absolutely phenomenal. I've worked with them now for a good while, and I can tell you they are absolutely about their business. Really great people. Um, and I want to thank you, Michael, for being on the show today. Thank you to our viewers for tuning in. Uh, Trevor said, hashtag Black CEO. Corinne, thank you. She said, hashtag Keys to Success. Uh, Christina Ormsby, thank you so much for tuning in. And to all of our viewers, thank you for tuning in. And remember, the Keys to Success show is live every Tuesday and Thursday, 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, where we interview local business professionals and entrepreneurs to discuss some of their keys to success in their business and in their life. Michael, thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure to meet you and to speak with you. Uh, and definitely look forward to having you on the show again in the future. And maybe even some of your mentees as well to kind of talk about the business and how, what it is to learn in, in, in the business as well. But until okay. next time, guys, definitely uh, tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, 12 noon. It is your girl, Miss Lee. Uh, until next time, have a great afternoon.